I'm Dr. Jim Leo, Medical Director for Best Practice and Clinical Outcomes at Memorial Care. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says that performing hand hygiene is the single most effective action that you can take to prevent healthcare-associated infections. Good hand hygiene may sound like a no-brainer, but studies have shown that healthcare workers perform hand hygiene less than 50% of the time that it's required. Part of the problem is that healthcare workers think they wash their hands more often than they actually do. In this short video, we want to explain when hand hygiene is required and the two ways that you can accomplish it. Keeping your hands clean is one of the best things you can do to protect your patient and yourself. When is it necessary? Clean your hands before you have any direct contact with a patient or their immediate environment. Whether you will touch the patient or an object near the patient, your hands need to be clean. Clean your hands after you have had direct contact with the patient or their immediate environment. Clean your hands before putting on sterile gloves and before you insert or manipulate any invasive device. Clean your hands after removing gloves. When should you use soap and water instead of an alcohol-based hand rub? Anytime your hands are visibly dirty. Anytime your hands are contaminated with blood or body fluids. When caring for any patient with Clostridium difficile because the spores are resistant to the hand rub. And for any patient with diarrhea. And clean them after you use the bathroom. Wearing gloves does not eliminate the need for hand hygiene because gloves cannot completely guard against infections. You can easily contaminate your hands when removing gloves. Whenever you are switching from a dirty task to a clean one, remove your gloves, clean your hands, and put on new gloves. For example, if you emptied a drainage bag and then plan to listen to heart or lung sounds, provide oral care, or change an IV dressing, perform hand hygiene, then put on new gloves with the clean task. When washing with soap and water, dry with a paper towel. Then use the towel to turn off the faucet so that you don't pick up any new contamination on clean hands. You can perform hand hygiene with an alcohol-based hand rub like Purell or Endure. Apply about a teaspoonful of rub to the palm of one hand. Rub your hands together, covering all surfaces of the hands and fingers. It's best not to wear jewelry at all, but if you wear a ring, be sure to clean around and behind it. This is a good hiding place for bacteria. Keep rubbing until your hands are dry. The traditional soap and water method is also acceptable. Wet your hands with water and apply about a teaspoon of soap. Rub your hands together vigorously for at least 15 seconds, covering all surfaces of the hands fingers, and lower wrists. Again, pay careful attention to areas around or under a ring if you must wear one. After 15 seconds or more of washing with the soap, rinse your hands well. Dry with a paper towel. Thousands of pathogenic organisms can survive around and under your fingernails. Clean under them if they are visibly dirty. Keep your nails cut short. Artificial nails or nail extenders must not be worn. These run charts show that we have made substantial progress in reducing our central line bloodstream infections and ventilator-associated pneumonias. In order to get to zero infections, our Memorial Care bold goal for 2009 and a target already achieved by the top performing hospitals in the U.S we will need to bring our hand hygiene practices up to the 100% level. Why is hand hygiene so important? According to the CDC, each year, 2 million patients in the United States get an infection while they're in the hospital. Of those, 90,000 patients die each year as a result of those infections. This isn't about just following someone's rules or guidelines. It's about doing everything we can to protect our patients. Performing hand hygiene is the most important step to reducing hospital-acquired infections. 
Hand hygiene is the cornerstone for the Institute for Healthcare Improvement's 5 Million Lives campaign, protecting 5 million patients from medical harm over two years. Hand hygiene is about saving lives and more. It's about preventing longer hospital stays, readmissions, and repeat surgeries. Everyone who works or volunteers here is expected to know and follow the rules of good hand hygiene. Help us keep our commitment to our patients and to our bold goal that we will perform hand hygiene 100% of the time.